Yes, YouTube stopped my last video. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because, well, not YouTube. My iPad stopped. I believe it stops at 10 minutes or probably stopped because it got tired of hearing me talk. One or the other. But yes, uh, fun fact. Let's start with the 7th with the seventh gen first. For the 7th gen, which is Xbox 360, PS3, and Wii, <coughs> there are hardly any chopper games. There's Apache, and then there is, um, there's Armageddon. There's Apache, and then there is Air Conflict, uh, Secret War, I believe. Secret Wars. And that's it. I don't know why. I mean, if, it, if it's etched, I mean, if, if, if flight combat games with airplanes, if they're If, it's, if, if they're not hard to make, which they don't seem to be hard to make, uh, why is it a big deal with with chopper games? There's only three. <coughs> and uh, but as far as, you know, ship combat games or airplane games or whatever you want to call them, there's a good amount. But anyway, yeah, for, for the seventh gen, I can only really think of two, and I have all of them. There's there's a few more flight sim, combat sims or combat games on Xbox Live that I'll download as well. <clears throat> but yeah, but for the sixth gen, there's only three that I can think of. Isn't that weird? I plan on let's playing all of these except for that one. I may need some practice with that one. That one's kind of tough. I never played it. <clears throat> Well, I've played it, but I never played through it. Obviously, I, I I get stuck on the I think it's first or second level. So I've been trying to play, <laughs> trying to play it to see if see if I could uh let's play it, but uh, no success. Not yet. I need I need a little more practice, or much more practice. And we're coming to the tail end of this video. Just about, just about. Uh, yes, there's. A, I, can't, I can't believe I actually got through this video, or that I'm actually getting through this video. Uh, there's Top Gun. I could just show you guys the spines, but oh well. Top Gun Combat Zones. Uh, Heroes of the Pacific. I can't hold the flashlight. There we go. Pacific. Uh, secret weapons over Normandy. Uh, I, think I think I'm missing something. I am missing something. There's Clone Wars, there's uh, <coughs> Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, Star Wars Starfighter, Air Force Delta Strike. There's actually the sequel or follow up to Air Force Delta Storm. Then we have Battle Engine Aquila, Battlestar Galactica, and Defender. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is it. That, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Oh, right here. I found it. I found what I was looking for. It's right in front of my face the entire time. Uh, Sub Rebellion. You know, for the seventh gen, there is one game, Naval Assault, where you play as a uh, some kind of ship. But the ship can also... No, no, you put it as a sub, actually. So that's a good thing, yeah. That's a good thing. One of the only naval games for the 7th Gen, Naval Assault, where you also play as a submarine. Oh, it's not the only one. There's Battle Stations Midway and Pacific. You play as regular 
warships in that game as well. Sub so Rebellion. <clears throat> as far as I can tell, the only game for the 6th gen where you play as a sub, a submarine. Well, no, 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 no. Warship Gunner. But you don't really play as it. It's more of a. Warship Gunner is more of a top. Almost like a top down type of uh, shooter. And it's not a regular shooter. It, it requires a lot of strategy and a lot of very, very, very intricate uh, ship building. And it's kind of complicated for me. But my, I have a friend who's, who's, who's good. He, he's really good with the game. And he, he gives me some tips here and there. But, uh, so yeah, if you count Warship Gunner and Naval, and Naval, Naval, Naval Ops Commander, there's a few things. But in those games, you play mostly as, you play mostly as ships. You can have, like, sub, you can have, like, escorts or whatever. Or, you know, ships to, uh, to guard your ship or to just attack and, and just have you back. And when you're choosing those ships, you can choose, like, subs and all kinds of other stuff. But anyway, Sub Rebellion, Sky Gunner, Rebel Raiders. That's it. That's all of them. So maybe I'll maybe I'll follow this under uh, my uh, "You're Welcome Gamers" uh, playlist. And yeah, that's it. That's that's it. The true mark of whatever. Um, I'm saying I'm again. But yeah, I just figured I would share that with you guys. That's uh, it's quite a mile, mil quite a milestone for me. I know it isn't. I know it isn't really much important, you know. But as a collector, it's it's important to me, and also maybe it'll be informative to anyone out there who is just wondering, you know, exactly how many flight games or or ship games there are for the sixth gen. Not that many people, I think, even uh, wonder about those types of things. I'm probably the only one. <coughs> so anyway, until next time, this is Inquisitor Osman Overlip saying take care. I'll see you guys later. And Psycho, I was just joking. I have a few more things to say. I am mm, less, less than 10 shooters away for the 7th gen. Before I can actually officially start Let's Playing for the 7th Gen, I'm going to be doing all shooters. Maybe I'll do a few adventure games here and there, but I'm just doing all shooters for the most part. Air shooters included. I won't be doing many space shooters, I don't think. I don't think so. But I, I will try to include as many um, you know, ship-to-ship -ship combat games as I can. Or, you know, air-to-air -air combat, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Flight sim games, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I just purchased myself a backup Xbox 360 because my current one <laughs> is in good shape. But I don't want... I, that's not going to be my, quote, let's play horse. I'm going to find another... Well, I already have another system in mind that I purchased. That'll be my sort of let's play horse. And it's not that you really need that kind of stuff. It's just with me. Since I'm a collector, you know, I mean, I guess I just need an excuse to buy more stuff that I have have no room to to house or, or whatever. But just like my PS2s, I have my Let's Play PS2, and I have that PS2, which is my Leisure PS2. Although both of them are actually my Leisure PS2s, I I play this thing plenty of times or multiple occasions. When I'm not even let's playing, that's why the red light's still on. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm almost ready to start let's playing for the seventh gen. Give me about three more weeks, and uh, yeah, three more weeks, and I should be should be ready. So until next time, guys, take care. Uh, you're welcome for what I shared to, uh, to you. You don't have to thank me. I don't really care. But uh, I just figured I'll share my collection with you guys. And take care, and I'll see you guys later.